What is up guys, you are back with the Elite Four Cruise Pokertubers Championship. It's been a long time, but we are here with the highlights and commentary of the matches. Uh, if you haven't seen the channel update video, go and check it out. Uh, it explains why, it's just me, Dan, uh, not, uh, no Tom, uh, but that's, you know, I'll explain that in another video, so uh, go over there and check it out if you haven't already. But uh, anyway, let's crack on. Um, so we're gonna sort this, kind of split this into uh, uh, several several videos. So in this video, we're just gonna do the first, probably the first quarter. Can we? We'll see how we're doing for time. We'll see how we're doing for time. But anyway, uh, the first matchup, as you can see on the ladder now, uh, was against was Onesie Bonetti versus Miticus. Uh, now, unfortunately, Onesie Bonetti did have to drop out. We did have a couple dropouts of this tournament, uh, so that meant that Miticus got a first round bye into the second round. Uh, lucky for some. Uh, anyway, moving swiftly on, uh, the next match in this quarter is Sarbear6691 against Mad Archer4567. So uh, we are looking at this uh, battle now, as you can see, from the uh, point of view of Sarbear. Uh, so uh, if we have a look at the teams, uh, Sarbear's brought the Ferrothorn, the Glyscor, the Volcanion, the Latias, the... Uh, I can't even remember what it's called, the Concorder, and the Diancy, uh, possibly, probably Mega. Um, whilst Mad Archer has gone for the Fable, the Excadrill, the Venusaur, the Thunderous Therian, uh, and the, the Keldeo, and the Victini. Uh, so, straight away, uh, I, just, I just want to see, let's, let's dive in, let's dive in. I'm not going to offer any expert analysis, guys, because I'm, I'm not qualified to actually, you know, talk about that. I'm not, I'm not an expert, but I'm going to try, try and uh, just talk through the moves wherever, where, where possible. Uh, we'll just do normal, normal playthrough speed, uh, without any music. Uh, so, Sarbet leads off with the Mega Diancy, uh, and the Victini comes out for Mad Archer. She Mega Evolves and goes for a Protect. And uh, it tries to U turn out of there, uh, but no, no bad. U turns out 16%, not bad. So, it scouts out the moveset a little bit, both of them, uh, as, as uh, Diancy goes for the Protect. And here comes the uh, Extra Drill now. And Earth Power, obviously, the Air Balloon, that was uh, a good, a good uh, prediction from Mad Archer that she'd go for the Earth Power. Goes for an earthquake, does 48% from Mad Archer. Uh, switches back out, probably protect, protect that air balloon, goes into the Clefable, and that only takes 12% from that map punch. So that is that is a really good switch in from uh, from Mad Archer there. He's going to bring out here, he brings out the Volcanion, obviously resists any uh, fire attacks, that, uh, any fairy attacks that uh, he decides to go for. But let's just get the stealth blocks up. Uh, here comes Thunderous, he takes a sludge wave, 52%. There's probably more than he would have wanted to take from that, but he knew. Oh, the crit. Now, I don't know. I don't know if the crit mattered there. I'd be interested to do some character work. Mm. That's definitely going to hurt. It's life orb as well. I think that's taken out, to be fair. I think that's taken out. I don't think the crit really mattered. Uh, Thorn on your side. Focus Blast misses. Unfortunately, that's the risk that you run when you do go for a Focus Blast. She went for a Stealth Rock there. That was risky. Very, very risky. Uh, and that's why she decides now to switch out. Goes into the Kronk. Kronk. Hits the Focus Blast this time and does 46%. Uh, loses some life or damage yet again, my Archer. But he's in a very strong position here. Bianca comes out now, the Latias. Uh, takes a side shock into the Thunderous. And uh, also life or Latias as well. Okay. Okay. So uh, here comes the uh, Fable. Uh, scares out the Latias into the Ferrothorn. And uh, what would he go for here? He goes for a Moonblast. 14% damage, which isn't too bad. Not too bad at all. Both get a bit of leftovers recovery. Now switches out Mad Archer into the Keldeo. Uh, and he goes for Gyrable, that's 30%. So the, the, she's got to switch out the, uh, the Ferrothorn now here, surely. She doesn't. We went for Elite Seeds, which doesn't. Uh, and the, the, the substitute's been set up now by the Keldeo. Now uh, this is dangerous territory for Sarbear. This is very, very dangerous. It brings out the Bianca. The Bianca. Bianca the Latias. I only took 26% from the Secret Sword, so not too bad, not too bad at all. Side Shock obviously takes out the the Substitute, and an Icy Wind takes out the Latias. Don't think she saw that coming, Sarbear. Be interesting to see what she brings out now. It has to be the, I was going to say, it has to be the Diancy. It scares out the Keldeo, goes back into the Excadrill. Yep, Mr. Rossetti, the Excadrill. Mold Breaker, Air Balloon. And the Moonblaster, 32%, pops that Air Balloon. Goes for protect, just to scout out what he's going to go for. So obviously he doesn't want to go for a, um, a steel type move for whatever reason. 
this is probably Scarf um, Excadrill here, it looks like. Just substitute. Oh, it's not Scarf, it's not Scarf. Okay. Oh, fuck. And the Earthquake from uh, the Glass Squad takes out the Extra Drill there. So that's big from Sarah there. That's big. That is uh, that extra drill is a massive threat to her Diancy, so she had to get rid of it, and she does. The Earthquake there only does 18%. I don't know what she's trying to go for here. I don't know what she's trying to go for. The Poison Hill gets her back up to full, so then switches out uh, into the Ferrothorn. But I'm not sure what a Ferrothorn can do to... Obviously, it takes the Leech Seed well, but I don't think the Ferrothorn can actually do anything to its Venusaur. That's why Madarsh switches out into the Keldeo. Uh, goes, you know, he's able to set, she's able to set up the spikes here. I think it might be a little bit too late to set up hazards. Um, I don't know how much difference it's going to make to substitute again. The, the Ferrothorn unable to cope with this Keldeo. So it goes for an Icy Wound, obviously predicting the, uh, the Gliscorp to come out. Uh, the Gliscorp does take out the substitute. But now the Secret Sword comes in. Only does 53%. That's not obviously an immediate take, uh, take out, but uh, it allows the Ferrothorn to whittle down the Keldeo a bit more. But I'm not liking the position that Sabe is in, to be honest. So we must go out for the Mega Diancy now. Yeah, here comes the Mega Diancy. So, what's the switching? What is the switching? Goes out to the Mega Venusaur. Takes this Moonblast 23%, and uh, assuming this Sludge Bomb's going to come in here. And Earth Power does 29%. Uh, Giga Drain does uh, 50% and gets some, gets some recovery back as well. Gets some recovery back. The Earth Power does 28, but another Giga Drain is just going to come. Oh, it goes for a synthesis. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Obviously, not going to get enough uh, recovery from the Giga Drain to, to set it up to beat the Glide Score. But um, no, that's fair, that's fair enough from the uh, from Mad Archer. Just he healing up his, uh, his Pokemon before, before dealing the final blow to the Mega Diancy. Now the Glycel is going to come out here. Uh, be interesting to see if you just go straight out to Keldeo. Uh, not Keldeo, sorry. Um, the Fable. Takes 37% from the Earthquake. Uh, Keldeo doesn't do anything. Is he just going to let the Clefable go down? Moonblast only does 40%. I'd be surprised if he just lets the Clefable go down. Obviously, differential doesn't matter in this tournament, but. It's... Okay. Uh, fair enough. He just wants a clean switch in for the Keldeo. Just wants to clean for the switch in for the Keldeo, so that's fine. Uh, Icy Wind's going to come in here. Goes for a Protect. Just delaying the inevitable, getting a bit of Toxic Kill damage back. But toxic Kill damage, Toxic Kill, HP, you know. Uh, Icy Wind. Oh, doesn't quite take it out. Okay, okay. Oh, and just as the Earthquake, so it didn't quite matter. It didn't quite matter. Almost made a difference, that Poison Hill. Almost made a difference. So there's the, uh, there's the take out. And Mad Archer progresses into the next round. Uh, that lead, that moves us on, guys. Let's see how long, how that, how long it took. Eight minutes, okay. Uh, that moves us on to the next battle, which was uh, Scotty Dr. Pepper. Scotty Dr. Pepper um, against UK Poker Power. Uh, the old good US of A against uh, the UK. Uh, Scotty Dr. Pepper saying some stuff in the chat here. Good luck, have fun. Love the superior. superior. I have it in the lead. I almost brought it too. I can't type today. Glad we just clicked it. Long. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Scotty Dog Pepper went on a fucking massive rant. Um, but anyway, uh, let's go from the point of view of uh, UK Poke Power, just because... Oh, 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 we can't. Oh, we can't. Oh, well. Never mind. Uh, so let's just, let's just play. Let's just play. See what happens here. Let's go for a normal speed. Uh, leads off with the, the Politoed against the Skarmory here. Uh, Scotty Dog Pepper against UK Poke Power. Uh, Skull comes in and does a crit. That's eighty-eight percent. Oh, he didn't. He didn't bring the right set. He didn't bring a drizzle uh, polytech. But I don't know if that was intentional. He says he messed up, but uh, it seems to be doing okay. It does take out the Skarmory here. Uh, here, Powdon comes in. Uh, that's a weird switching. Very, very odd switching. Um, now he comes with Latios. Takes does an ice beam. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what he was going for there. I'm really not sure. Um, ice beams doing nothing. Uh, the ice beams, on the other hand, from Politoed are doing quite a lot. Uh, Managed to survive at one percent of Latios, but uh, that's a, a three, three, 
3 0 lead straight up in this match with Scotty Dr. Pepper. Now the chance comes out and he goes for a peristop. I like that. Seismic toss, 31%. It's possible that the chance he could take out the uh, Polytope here and then switch out himself. Here comes Kit and the Ferrothorn. Chance he goes for another seismic toss, does 29%. Is UK Pokey Power going to switch out here? It goes for a wish and then it's going to switch out next turn. I like that. That's nice. Nice little setup. Uh, didn't. Uh. 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 <laughs> uh. Uh. I don't know what to say to that. Um, obviously, switches out. The Manaphy comes in. Uh, looking at his team, uh, Scotty Dr. Pepper's team, he did probably want a Drizzle. Um, did probably want a Drizzle Politoed there. He's got a Swift Swim Mega Swampert by the looks of it, but fortunately he doesn't seem to need it this match. Uh, quite straightforward victory for Scotty Dr. Pepper. Still the superiors come out, uh, which is obviously dangerous, but I don't think the Manaphy the is going to stay in there for long. Uh, here comes the Sylveon. I assume that's the uh, reference with the nickname. So it's a sunny day. Okay. Um, and starts side beaming up instead of least dormant. Um Okay. Okay. Uh it, it's by this point it doesn't really matter, it's, it's a foregone conclusion this game. Uh the high point is fifty six percent obviously hits so he sub. Uh, the the recovery that the Sylveon has access to Aquita Aquatail in the Sun. Uh okay. Okay. Uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, that's a really, really slow game. I didn't really know what to say to that. Um, I think may, maybe some, some inexperience there from Yuka Pekka Power. Um, which is fair enough, you know, you've got, you got to start somewhere. But uh, not, not, not one to, not one to, to, gant, to stick about and think about, really. Just uh, one that's probably best put, put behind us. Um, but anyway, that's uh, that the game advances. Scotty Dr. Pepper into the second round. And uh, our final battle of the day is uh, Zerua FX against Absolute Destruction. Um, High Fighter Zerua FX. So, looking at Absolute Destruction's team, it's got brought the Mega Altaria, the Raikou, the Mew, the Caesar, Manaphy, and the Talonflame. Uh, Zerua FX brings the Jirachi, the Weavile, uh, the. What's it called? A Gudra. The. <laughs> oh my god! I can't think. Chandelure, the Skarmory, and the Landorus T. So let's see what they decide to lead off with. Uh, it's the Raikou against the Skarmory, so a bad matchup straight away for Zerua. Uh, probably going to switch out. Goes for a Protect just to scout the moveset. Smart. Smart. Does go for a Thunderbolt. And it has, obviously has to switch out. Goes into the Landorus. And oh, that's, a, that's an outstanding prediction from Absolute Destruction. On the second turn, Predicting that the Landorus is coming in, goes for a Hidden Power Ice, which takes out the Landorus with absolutely no problems. And that is a huge threat gone for, top, for, uh, for Absolute Destruction to deal with. Sludge Bomb predicted again. Absolute Destruction with the predictions. Goes out to the Skarmory, predicting a knockoff, maybe. Uh, gets the Weak Armor boost, okay. Uh, weak Armor, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, loses his Rocket Helmet, unfortunately, but uh, he gets his Rocks up. He goes for a U-turn out of there. Again, just increases weak armor. Uh, it's lowering its defense, but hiring speed, raising speed. But I don't really know why Skarmory wants wants the increased speed over defense. To be honest, the Rock Slide does eight percent. There's absolutely nothing. Gets the flinch from over Newborn, the Mew. Uh, I can see that. I can see that kind of pink and slimy kind of Pokemon. Red Arrow. I like that. Skarmory comes back out. Goes up for a fly. Uh, okay. Uh, the fly does 24%. Uh, Skarm, uh, the Caesar, sorry, goes for the default, gets rid of the rocks, and uh, lowers the Skarmory's ev evasion whilst he's at it. Now it goes out to Nimbus. Okay, the Stealth Rock comes back out. It's going to Mega Evolve here. And Rock Slide does only does 15%. And gets another flinch. Gets another flinch. The Skarmory is putting in some work. Protects just to scout the moveset again. But oh, it's a high fire. Absolute destruction sets is able to set up on that protect. The rock slide is doing absolutely nothing, not not enough to threaten this uh, this guy at all. And the outrage not very effective. It's resisted damage, but the Skarmory goes down to that. Obviously, it's 
half defense, uh, 0.5 times defense, minus two defense. Uh, nice shot, doesn't quite have enough to take it out. Outrage comes in, knocks out the Weavile. Uh, and gets an early, only a two turn fatigue, which is, it's not ideal. But, uh, yeah, and then the confusion unfortunately sets in and takes out the Mega Altaria. Altaria! Uh, so, Caesar against Jirachi now. Jirachi goes for a Thunder Wave. It's been interesting to see what Caesar decides to go for. Gets out the Defog, just to get rid of those rocks. Now that the Skarmory is gone, so that the Talon Flame can come in in the future without taking any damage. Uh, the knock comes in and takes off the King's Rock. The Coast Trick. Oh man, King's Rock fucking Iron Heads. Jesus. That's unfortunate that he didn't actually get the flinch there. King's Rock, Iron, Iron Heads, Serene Grace. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. Uh, Heat Wave comes in and takes out the Caesar. Uh, don't know why he decided to stay in there. Uh, but anyway, here comes the Raikou now. Uh, the Raikou goes for a Shadow Ball, super effective. Only does 81%, pop the air balloon, not that it matters. Uh, and uh, the Raikou loses some HP from the Life Orb. Uh, Raikou goes first and takes out the Chandelure. So all that is left is the Gudra. The Gudra comes out here. Uh, and we know that it's got Hidden Power Ice. But only does 21%. Gudra is a bulky Pokemon. Uh, so the Raikou goes down to its uh, own Life Orb recoil. The Dragon Pulse does nothing, unfortunately. And here comes Ray, the Talon Flame. Ray Bird does come in, 70% damage, and takes out the Gudra. Uh, so that is it, guys. That is the first quarter of the first round matches. Uh, if you enjoyed today's episode, then make sure you come back probably... When is this up? This is up Sunday. So yeah, come back tomorrow for the next set of matches. Uh, we're going to be uploading these basically whenever there isn't an upload already. So, uh... Get hyped for that! Thank you for watching, guys. I've been your boy for Dan. Goodbye.